Sunny Bermuda, and as always, this is Bob DiGiacomo of Bermuda Bob Leadership and Intentional Growth Coaching, coming to you live with another one of my leadership video podcasts. Today's title is, That's Where It All Started. And that's an interesting title, to say the least, that, that could have so many paths or directions to take. But the story is about dreams, goals, purpose, passion, and persistence. For each of these words represents thoughts, and they all require actions to help fulfill and bring them about. What is a dream? Would you agree that it is a belief that no matter where you come from, no matter who your parents were or are, no matter what race, what religion you have, that you do indeed mean something, and that you can be or do anything in the lifetime that you have been given. And to that end, the word purpose ties into that. But one thing is for sure. It may take a while for those dreams to point you to the purpose for which you have been put here on this earth for. Dreams are unique. In fact, from the moment we are born, our parents spoke over us in between those goo-goos and those gagas to instill dreams and visions of what they hope we would grow up into. And when we reach the age where we can comprehend communication, we are taught to dream. But as we get older, by default, we are then taught to get serious and put those dreams aside and face the realities of life. And for many of us, we wander around trying to determine our purpose and end up settling for jobs and lives that are just about going about having an existence, but not a fulfillment of life. I've heard it said many times in a number of organizations that I have been a part of as to where you will find the unfulfilled dreams of life. That location is indeed found in the cemetery. It is my belief that each of us is born at the time that we are born, not by some accident, but rather by a grander plan of a higher authority, which some of us refer to as God. I refer to God as the grand overall designer. As I present this story to you, I am here in this time and in this space, not a hundred years ago, not a thousand years ago, not even 10,000 years ago, but now. I would be remiss if I did not go back a couple of generations, though, to describe how my ancestors, with nothing but what they could carry, traveled by boat to reach that land of the free and the home of the brave. How my ancestors landed at Ellis Island, New York. How my father grew up during a period of time that would include the Great Depression, and not one, but two great wars. And how I would be born during another war that was taking place. So what has this got to do with dreams, goals, passion, purpose, persistence? Well, just about everything. So that brings us to goals. As an example, in American football, if there were no goals, no one would score. How would one know to where to kick the ball where there are no goalposts? Thus, if no one scores, no one wins. The moral of the story, goals are essential, not just in sports, but in life and in business too. Without goals, you have nothing to aim for, and with nothing to aim for, success is, well, it's just impossible. And always remember that the goal is always more important than the plan, for the plan can be changed or modified if it is not working. Thus, with dreams and goals, the road to our purpose begins to come into sight. As the famous New York Yankees baseball player, Yogi Berra, now that's not to be confused with Yogi Bear, the cartoon character. I'm referring to the famous New York Yankees baseball player. And uh, Yogi actually had quite a few what we refer to as Yogi-isms 
things that he said that were just so outlandish, but they made so much sense at the same time. He said, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. Our lives are not about arriving at a single destination, but rather a journey of many destinations. And along this journey, one day it will suddenly come to you as to what your purpose in life is. It will come to you as to what and why you have been placed on this planet at a time and space that you have been placed. What occurs with this purpose is a passion that drives you to the point of literally going crazy. That you can't stand not to be where you are supposed to be. And if through that driving force of persistence, each and every day you get that one step closer, that one step closer to taking that first step that will get you to that next destination. Or as in the case of the story of why you never have to cover a bucket of crabs for fear of one of them getting out and getting away, the reason is is that as that one tries to escape and is about to get out, the others pull it back in. And such is the same with life. There are those people out there who are determined to undermine your dreams, your goals, your purpose, your passion, and totally keep you from being persistent. They don't want you to get ahead of them. They don't want you to succeed ahead of them. They don't want you to leave them behind. But you must be persistent. You must fight through those naysayers. You must follow that yellow brick road to your destiny. Now, I will close with the story of someone who has become a very good friend of mine and and clearly also an inspiration to me. His name is Jeru Nitega. Jeru personifies all the aspects of dreams, goals, purpose, passion, and persistence. Jeru literally came from Africa several years ago with nothing but the few dollars he had in his pocket and a copy of Dr. John C. Maxwell's 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, and a burning dream. Giroux was a follower of John Maxwell and what he taught, and he made a commitment to himself that became a burning passion inside of him that he was somehow, some way, going to make it to the United States to not only start a new life for himself, but to meet John Maxwell. That he not only was going to find John Maxwell, but also become a student of what John Maxwell taught. And if (laughs) that was not enough, he was going to do whatever it took to become a teacher of leadership to help and encourage others. You see, it was not just about Jeru. It was about his dream of helping and serving others. And he has, because of his dreams, goals, purpose, passion, and persistent, taking these things to the next level. He is successfully helping many people today through his leadership university, speaking and podcasting, just to name a few. So let me leave you with this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to come off that bench and tell the coach, hey, put me in the game? Are you ready to pursue your dreams, your goals, your purpose, your passion, and your persistence? Or will you just go through life wondering, what if you had but didn't? Will you be one of those crabs that tried to escape but allowed yourself to keep getting pulled back into that bucket? Yes, I I know I'm speaking with tough love here today. But the sands of your hourglass on the clock of your life are ticking. So go for it. Deal with those dreams. And get it right to the point of being persistent through your passion and your desires and those goals. And remember, the goal always outweighs the plan. So until next time, this is Bob DiGiacomo, Bermuda Bob Leadership and Intentional Growth Coaching. And I'm sure I'll be coming to you from somewhere where it's beautiful and sunny. 
because it's all about a mindset. Make it a great, significant, wonderful rest of your day wherever you are, and I'll see you soon.